Hello everyone. A uh, very good morning, very good evening. Uh, Malik Arjun here. Uh, here is a quick announcement on my upcoming rack course, rack training. So I'm starting a new rack batch, new rack database course. Uh, the new batch is going to start on uh, 1st April 2023. I already had a short announcement on my channel. Uh, today I'm going to explain about in details what are the course curriculum, course content, and how this particular course will be conducted. Uh, everything in detail, right? So for this particular rack training, I'm conducting uh, two live demo sessions that will be on 1st April and 2nd April. 1st April 2023, 2nd April 2023, that will be Saturday and Sunday. The timing is going to be 8 a.m. IST to 10 a.m. IST. That pretty much going to be 10.30 p.m. EST to 12.30 a.m. EST, two hours on Saturday and two hours on Sunday. These are the two live demo classes. For this demo classes, I already shared my Zoom meeting link, meeting ID and passcode. Here you can see the Zoom meeting link and meeting ID and the passcode. Uh, you can attend these two live demo classes on this 1st April and 2nd April, Saturday, Sunday. The timing is this one. Uh, these are like live interactions. You can ask any questions, queries, and you can clarify all your questions and doubts, uh, whatever you have it uh, regarding this particular course and the course curriculum or the course content and uh, what is supported, what is not supported, whatever question it may be. And along with that live interaction, I'll be conducting some of the demo topics like rack architecture, rack networking, rack internals, and rack services, and rack databases, and the grid infrastructure, and ASM. Some of the basics, uh, including your OCR, OLR, voting disk, some of the core concept or core fundamentals, what is needed uh, for the rack database. So everything will be of, you know, covered along with these live interactions on these two days, 1st April and 2nd April. Right, so that's about the course. Uh, for this particular course, what is the demo timing, demo links, and the Zoom link, Zoom meeting ID, all those details. And now if you are looking for the RAC course curriculum, you can go to my blog and then the check for the RAC course curriculum course content. I already opened that course curriculum here, uh, the RAC training. So some of the key notes, you can go through that one on this particular malik034blogspot.com, rack-training.html. Rack, rack so this particular key points will tell you about importance about this particular course. And again, I talked, uh, we're going to talk about that, the course timing and other things. So now what I'm going to show you quickly, I'll go through about the course curriculum, course content. Uh, everything is mentioned in details over here. So basically we deal with this 22, 25 uh, topics over here. So we'll start with the uh, introduction about the clusterware and clusterware architecture and the Linux VM configuration, network configuration, followed by my clusterware GI installation, followed by your Oracle home installation and uh, said ASM disk group creation, your data, RICO, OCR, OLR, and along with that, your database inflation, what are the pre-checks, post-checks, and how you can do a user creation, shared group creation, and your ASM disk creation, and all those things. So this chapter number one to eight basically talks about the rack architecture, rack fundamental, clusterware architecture, clusterware fundamental, and installation of your two node rack, three node rack, four node rack, whatever it is. So from the scratch, what are the pre-checks, what are the installation steps, what are the post-checks, everything will be covered here. It's a purely of installation and configuration and setup, including your architecture part. Right. And chapter number nine about ASM. So we'll go deep dive inside ASM architecture, ASM fundamental, ASM understanding, and followed by chapter number 10, administration of your ASM. ASM, how you can manage your ASM instance, ASM disk groups, ASM command line, ASM SQL plus command line, and how you're going to manage your disk groups, how you're going to add a disk, how you're going to drop a disk, how you're going to create a disk group, and how you're going to manage your storage. All those things will be covered as part of this chapter number 10. And followed by chapter number 11, 12, and 13, and 14 are talks about your clusterware administration, your grid administration, your ASM administration, clusterware administration, your rack database administration, SROCTL and CRSCTL, and your OLR voting disk, your VIP, scan IP, public IP, cluster resources, cluster services, and coming to your rack database, your SP file, P file, password file, and your read logs, archaeolog files, and your control files, your data files, and your table spaces. And along with that, your uh, clusterware backups and uh, recoveries. 
So all those things, everything will be covered over here. So basically coming to React backups, React database backups and recovery, we deal with the RMAN. So you're going to take a RMAN backup, RMAN restore, RMAN recover, RMAN duplicate, RMAN active database duplicate, RMAN backup based duplicate, RMAN cloning, and you know recovery or restore of your production database, control file, archaeolog files, redo log files, your data files, uh, in case of any uh, you know disaster happens on your production side. So everything will be covered on this chapter number 14. Chapter number 15 is about listeners. So various listeners, ASM listeners, scan listener, local listener, remote listener, database listener, and ASM net listener, and your uh, flex uh, ASM listener. So there are so many listeners. We're going to talk about A to Z about the listener, how the connectivity works. And followed by chapter number 16 is about, uh, you know, your rack. Uh, till 11G, it's a standalone architecture. In starting with 12C onwards, Oracle came up with a new architecture that is called your multi-tenant architecture, your CDBs and PDBs. And all will be covered here with respect to Rack database, how you're going to manage your CDBs and PDBs in Rack or in clusterware, and how you're going to clone your CDBs, how you're going to take a backup of your CDBs and PDBs, and how you can do a cloning, and how you're going to maintain the restore and recovery of your PDBs and CDBs. Uh, and the maintenance and how we're going to connect your CDBs and PDBs, how we're going to manage your listeners and the TNS for your CDBs and PDBs and all those things, installation and configuration of your CDBs and PDBs. Everything will be covered here in the chapter number 16. And followed by chapter number 17 is about ACFS, configuration, administration, fundamental architecture and all those things. Chapter number 18 is Rack One Node. So what are the different types of databases? Standalone database, Oracle Restart databases, and Rack One Node database, Rack database. There are various types of databases. We're going to do a comparison. We're going to do that deal with how you're going to manage your Rack database and Rack One database using SRFCTL and you know configuration and relocation, all those things. So chapter number 19 is about patching. Again, uh, we'll be deep dive uh, in detail about the patching, your GI patching, Oracle home patching, database patching, and patching within Opatch and patching using Opatch Auto, patching manual versus automation. So all those things will be covered here. Rolling patching, non-rolling patching, and how you can minimize the downtime, how you can run the data patch, how you can patch your CDBs and PDBs. All those things will be covered here. Chapter number 20, again, so much things about upgradation, your uh, database upgradation, cluster web upgradations, and uh, database upgradation with the various methods. All right, uh, sorry for that. So database upgradation will include your, uh, you know, various methods of your database upgradation, manual, silent method, DBUA, auto upgrade, and, you know, including your uh, clusterware upgrade and database upgrade, what are the pre-checks, post-checks, how we can handle the downtime, and how we can make sure that your upgrade is successful in case of failed upgrade, how we can resume, how we can proceed, all those will be handled over here. And your rack node addition and removal. So if you have a two node rack, three node rack, how we're going to add a new node, how we're going to delete a node from your clusterware, all the node addition, node removal, everything will be like covered over here. And you are converting a single instance into rack instance, the various method to convert your single instance to rack instance or rack database, everything will be covered here. And followed by, along with the particular topics, if there's any special topic or particular topic you want to include or exclude from this list, I'm happy to take that. We can take it as an extra class. If there's any extra topic need to be covered here, will be covered at the end of the course as extra topics, right? So at the end of the course, we'll be covering about resume and cover letter and some of the career importance, how we can crack the interview. And for that, we'll be covering sample interview questions and how you can prepare for your interview. And also we'll be conducting the mock interview. So you can register for the mock interview. It will be like real time one-to-one -one discussion where you can feel that you're gonna dealing with a real time live interview. And we're gonna give you some hints or the tips or the guidance whenever you do a mistake during those interviews, right? So that all will be covered as part of this particular course. So this is all about uh, the course curriculum or the course content. So we can go through this particular link and get more detail on that, right? Coming back over here. So again, demo classes will be on 1st April and 2nd April, uh, Saturday and Sunday. The timing is going to be 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. IST. That will be 10.30 p.m. EST to 12.30 a.m. EST, two hours on Saturday and two hours on Sunday. And these are the Zoom meeting link, meeting ID and passcode. 
and uh, just now we talked about this rack course curriculum and course content and any questions and queries about this particular course curriculum course, course content you can feel free to ping me on my whatsapp number plus nine one nine double eight zero six one six eight four eight or you can drop me an email malikajun.ramdurg at gmail.com i'm happy to answer you back right or else you can join our live demo classes and clarify your all questions and queries right so with that so we're going to start the actual course after that next weekend after the demo session so if i can get my calendar over here so the first april and second april are the two demo classes followed by the 8th april that will be saturday which is the one where we're going to start the actual course so actual course is starting on 14th april 2023 so is it a 14th april no so it's, it's going to be 8th april let's make it here it will be 8th april 2023 saturday we're going to start the actual class on this uh, 8th April, 2023, the next which Saturday or next weekend after the remote classes, right? The timing is going to be 8 a.m. IST to 12 p.m. IST, four hours on Saturday and Sunday. So if you talk about further details about the course here, it's a weekend batch. Weekend batch means the courses are conducted only on Saturday, Sunday. So it's a weekend batch, only Saturday and Sunday. Classes are available only on Saturday and Sunday. The timing is going to be 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. IST, four hours on Saturday and four hours on Sunday. That pretty much in EST, it's going to be 10.30 p.m. EST to 2.30 uh, a.m. EST, four hours on Saturday and four hours on Sunday. It's a weekend batch. Again, remember, guys, this is a weekend batch, only Saturday and Sunday, four hours on Saturday and four hours on Sunday. And duration is going to be six weekends. So if I can go back to my calendar here, we are starting on 8th weekend here, so April 8th weekend, followed by 15th weekend, 22nd weekend April, and 29th weekend of April. So it will be four weekends, and followed by 6th weekend of uh, May. If I go next to May, 6th weekend of May, and 13th weekend of May. So probably this 13th weekend of May, we're going to complete this particular course. So this is the six weekends, Saturday and Sundays, and eight hours in one weekend, four hours on Saturday and four hours on Sunday, 8 a.m. to 12 a.m., 12 p.m. IST. This is the EST every hour, four hours on Saturday and four hours on Sunday. Uh, coming to the course fees, uh, this particular rack course, rack course fees is 15K INA, 15,000 Indian rupees. So that pretty much going to be 185 US dollar. And these are the online live demo classes will be conducted over a Zoom link. So these are the live uh, demo classes, live interactions, not a recorded sessions. And the Oracle version, we're going to cover it on the 19C rack, 19C rack, 19C database version. So if you are looking for registration of the particular course, you can go to this particular link and register for the course. If I can go here, so this is the course registration link. So this is the new rack course weekend batch. So you can pretty much uh, go to this registration link. You can click on this link and they're gonna open for your registration. You can fill up your name, email ID and contact number and with whatever the comment you have it. So we can reach out to you on the cell number, provided cell number or the email ID and we can take your registration. Right, so that's about the demo dates and times and the demo links and the course curriculum and the registration links and the course uh, mode of the conduct conducting this course and the uh, the actual course timing and the course duration and the course fees. So uh, if you have any further questions and queries, you can feel free to reach out to me on my WhatsApp number plus nine one nine double eight zero six one six eight four eight or you can drop me an email malikarjun dot at gmail dot com. I am happy to connect with you. And Coming back to that payment method. So if you are interested to register, interested to continue with this particular course, feel free to ping me on my WhatsApp number or drop me an email. I will connect with you one-to-one -one and then I can further uh, guide you about the payment method. You can do a payment method using Google Pay or Phone Pay or you can do a international transaction using a Western Union or the, uh, you know, uh, any other like transactions, Western Union or MoneyGram, Money Transfer or whatever method. Or if you're interested to do a bank transfer, you can do a bank transfer on my, uh, you know, our official uh, bank account IDs. So I'm going to share all those details one-to-one -one once you are interested in registering this particular course. All right. So we'll see you all on our live demo classes on 1st April and 2nd April, Saturday and Sunday. So 8 a.m. IST to 10 a.m. IST. Until then, take care, guys. Uh, thank you.